Hey, this is Willard Crafto, and this is going to be a look at my 1940s Arvin 203A space heater. So, here's the heater. It was made somewhere around 45, 46, I'm guessing. Maybe as late as 48. I don't know. But it, it would have had a date code, but the stickers peeled off. But I know it's from sometime in the 40s. So here it is. There's a brass Arvin badge down here at the bottom. Um, there's the where you turn it on and off. <clears throat> Now, I think what that's for, there was a newer model of these with a switch right here. But these older ones had the, this knob thingy. And what I think that is made for is if you kept the heater on the floor, you could step on one side to turn it on, step on the other side to turn it off. So that you wouldn't have to bend down and flip it. But on, actually on the newer ones you did, but on these old ones, I guess the, the, that, that was dangerous because it could accidentally be turned on or whatever. Obviously this isn't anything like a, a new unit. So going to the bottom, it's upside down, but oh well. Got these little feet on here with the rubber things. Now, this is the interesting part. It's basically just a regular old household switch over here. And like right there, it's a household switch just mounted on the bottom. And goes to the little flippy thing. So I had to put that screw in there because the fastener <clears throat> wore out and um, rusted and this thing just fell off. So I didn't, I didn't have a short screw that would work. So I just put that screw in there and it works. I did that about six, seven, eight months ago. The bottom of it, I think, was originally this brown color, but somebody painted it silver. Either that or all the paint came off. As you can see, there's quite a bit of rust, and it doesn't look the, the greatest anymore, but <clears throat> oh well. There's the front again, and we'll go around to the back. It's actually really heavy. Down here is these two holes. These screws go in there and hold the cover on. So, as you can see, it actually sits up off the ground a little bit too with those feet that are on there. So... I'm now going to put the camera down again. Whoa. There we go. Now I can pick it back up and remove the screws. And this cover actually comes off. Now here's the inside. It's actually internally lighted for whatever reason. It's, I put an LED bulb in it too because I'm fancy like that. And the main reason I put an LED bulb in there is because I didn't want it to break. Because <clears throat> if you recall, go and watch the, the video I made on this a couple years ago and it, um, the bulb actually broke. So yeah, um... 
Here's the elements. I've never seen it before on a fan forest heater where the elements are in front of the fan. It's a little two blade fan with an AC motor back here and even a set screw on the propeller. The impeller, propeller, whatever. On the impeller there's a set screw. Here's the motor mounted on the back of the frame right there and obviously the these are real dangerous heaters because they don't have any <clears throat> any thermostat they don't have any of this if you tip it it'll stay on because literally it's on or off but this light actually lights up on the inside of this thing when you turn it on I've seen them, they'll have like a little light on the front, but I've, um, that smells real bad inside there. It smells, well, it doesn't smell bad, it smells old, but I'm going to run it with the cover off. If you have one of these, I really don't recommend this, but oh well. Here's the cord. It's kind of a braided cord with asbestos insulation. So, hopefully this doesn't blow the breaker. So we'll turn it on. And right there, as you can see, it's an LED bulb. Stinky. It's extremely quiet. There's no clattering or anything. There's no um, clattering or yada yada. And this is no fancy safety heater. This is a heats the hell up kind of heater. Um... Like this thing is hot. It's it doesn't mess around. This putting out a good amount of heat, and it's obviously about 112 degrees outside. So I know the bulb looks yellow on the camera, but it actually is red. So yeah, you can kind of see the red glow on the elements. I think the the fan keeps the elements from glowing, and I don't know why they have that lighted like that. But now I will put the cover back on there. Just like that for right now. Um, and we'll turn it on and let it run. As you can see, it's very, very quiet. And as you can see, there's the light up there. I don't know why they have it like that, lighted inside. But I've never seen a heater like that before. There's another video of one of these that's brown that a guy made <clears throat> on on here on on one of these heaters. It's a 203B. His is. It takes a minute for it to heat up, but when it heats up, it'll heat up. There's your ceramic insulators and everything for the coils and there they are if you plug it in at night I'll close this door to try to get a little bit less light in here as you can see right there it's lit up but I'll turn this light off in here too that's the the most lit up I'm going to get it. 
it's real quiet despite its age. There's no, like I said before, there's no clattering. There's, I was really expecting the motor to squeak, but this one actually doesn't. Runs like it's brand new. It really does. Stuff was real well made back then. I love the craftsmanship and everything in the design and all the striping and the layered effect and stuff. But I'll go ahead and turn this off. And that just about does it for the video on the 203A. So thanks for watching.